Hey there, my task today is to, I need to dig up uh, the lid for the septic tank for my house. S somebody is coming, a company is coming to uh, do some service on it and I need to find the lid. Now, it's somewhere in here. It's not necessarily exactly in the center. Now fortunately, last time we had it uncovered, I took a picture from directly overhead and now I am going to use that as a scale drawing to figure out exactly where I need to dig. I need a few measurements first. This picture right here has some measurements. I'm going to measure some distances on there and then measure the distances down here and I can use a proportion to figure it out. So the first thing I need is this distance across here. This distance across here is is, is. Now, in case you're wondering why I, it looks like I'm holding the tape measure crooked, I'm not actually. It's just the camera angle and the lens on the camera make it look that way. 1,000. I'm going to do it in millimeters because I'll measure that in the, in the picture. Actually, let's do it in centimeters. 176.5 centimeters. 176.5. Now, All right, so we have that distance, 176.5 centimeters. Now, in the picture here, I can, I can measure the exact same distance and what it is. That distance on the picture is 10.4 centimeters. Okay, so this is actual, this is picture. So the distance all the way across was 10.4 centimeters in the picture. Now the distance that I really want is this distance right here. I want to know how far that is so that I know how far out to go. And I want to know how far this is from this edge here. Now, if I measure this, this is 5.4 centimeters in my picture here. Five point four centimeters. This is the one I want to know. I want to know what that distance is in reality. So I'm going to use a proportion for it here. If I call that x and I say x over one seven six point five, and that has to be the same as five point four to ten point four, you can work that out. If I divide this, figure out how many times more that is, and then do the same thing there. So I grab the calculator here. If I, if I now go 176.5 divided by 10.4, I have approximately 16.97 something. So it's about 17 times as big. The actual thing is about 17 times as big as the picture. So if I take this distance, multiply it by that, it'll tell me exactly how far, have, uh, how far out I have to go. 91.6 roughly 91.6 so if I now go and measure 91.6 out this way right there that's that distance that I gotta go out that way right so we mark like that I'm gonna do the same thing going the other way going this distance I can figure out the same thing and I'll know exactly where to dig using proportions All right, so I figured out that I needed to go 98 centimeters that way and 91.6, 92 centimeters that way. That's gonna be the center of the lid down there. So I'm gonna dig it up now, see if I'm right. There it is, exactly where we expected it to be. Now, fortunately, I don't have to open it and do anything with it. That's someone else's job, all right? That's using proportions and scale diagrams to save yourself a lot of work. All right, just a few notes here before we wrap this up. 
uh, when I was using this photo that I had taken years ago so that I could figure out where the lid was next time I had to dig it up, we found that when we made these measurements, that measurement on the actual site and the corresponding measurement on the photo, we found that the photo was where the, the actual site was 17 times more than the, than the photo was. You'd say then that that photo has a scale of 1 to 17, roughly, which means that one unit on the diagram, or the photo, represents 17 in reality. You can also write that as a fraction, 1 over 17, or you can write that as a decimal. Now we can grab the calculator here to do that. There's our calculator, we'll put over here. Uh, if we want, now we gotta go one, divide by 17. And it's gonna give us, we'll call it roughly 0 0.0588, how about that? 0 0.0588, it's our scale factor, roughly 0 0.06, I guess, if you were gonna round it off more. This is called, as I just said here, the scale factor. You could say that either of those numbers as a fraction or a decimal or the scale factor of the diagram. This up here, you call it just the scale when it's written as a ratio like that. When you have that situation where you have a photo or a diagram that's much smaller than the actual, it's called a reduction. And a reduction, you know it's a reduction because when you look at the scale factor, it is much less than one. Both of those numbers, less than one. Now, on the other hand here, if you were to say you had this same diagram here, only it was a really large diagram. I'm going to put it down here, and but we're going to make it into this giant diagram. Let's pretend that we had, this thing was much larger than reality. Let's say it was two times as big. Okay, it took up half the backyard here. Let's move it over there and give ourselves some room. Okay, if we had this thing that was two times as big, you'd say that this, this giant diagram you have spread across the lawn, has a scale of 2 to 1. Or you could write it as a fraction, 2 to 1, or of course just 2. Right? That, since that scale factor is greater than 1, it means that this diagram is bigger than the actual thing, greater than 1. This is called an enlargement, right? Because it's a it's a scale diagram that's bigger than the actual thing, right? If it's bigger, if it's twice as big as the actual site, it's called an enlargement, right? That is uh, scale diagrams.